Number three. The Jewel Thief of Mastrand. Mastrand was a refuge for people in many different ways. In addition to trade, business and religious freedom, the Freeport was also a place for people fleeing from justice. The ninth section of the Free Harbour Ordinance stated that everyone who applied to Mastrand due to debts or crimes, such as do not benefit life, would be offered freedom from detention, prosecution or execution as long as they stayed in the Freeport. One person who tried to take advantage of paragraph 9 was the merchant Joseph Nathan Aaron from Schwerin in Mecklenburg. In 1780, Moses Levin Gottschalk wrote two letters to the king about how Joseph stole gems, jewellery and other valuables that belonged to Moses' father and his companion. Joseph was to sell the goods on their behalf but had instead left his wife and children in Mecklenburg and moved with the stolen goods to Mastrand. In the letter, Moses Levin Goshawk appeals that Joseph should be arrested and punished in accordance with Swedish law and that the Freeport's special legislation should not apply to such a dishonest man. So, one morning... June the 28th, 1780, a general came to Mastrand to look for Joseph Nathan Aaron. The general looked for Joseph at Moses' house, but Moses told him that Joseph had indeed been at his house, but that he had left the island a few weeks previously. The neighbours, on the other hand, told the general that the wanted man remained in the house and that they had seen him on the steps of the house only half an hour earlier, wearing a nightgown with a tobacco pipe in his mouth. The street was filled with people trying to find Joseph and the house was searched. A boy shouted that he must have crawled up the chimney and there he was, black as soot and desperate. During the interrogation, Joseph stated that he had already sent the jewels to their owners and that he planned to leave Mastrand. This was not true. There was a locked chest of drawers in Joseph's room. When the general broke into the bureau, the jewels, which were worth six barrels of gold, were found. A pair of rings and a pair of brilliant gold watches were never recovered. In this particular case, the protection of the Freeport did not apply. Joseph Nathan Aaron was arrested and transported to Gothenburg. In the newspapers, you can then read how Moses Levin Gotchalk arrived in Mastrand shortly afterwards and how he became infinitely happy about the other's capture. Mm -hmm.